well guys so let's understand that this portal is accessible to everyone and anyone and there is no software or there is, it, this is definitely not anything like paid subscription subscription or anything like that so these are we are just going to look at two open source uh, urls or websites today to track both our sea shipments as well as our air shipments now let's firstly focus upon our sea shipments because that is where that is what we would be using or that is where most of us would be using right so the first and foremost thing that you need to do is just go to google.com and then type marine traffic.com right so while i speak you just focus on my screen now when i type or search for marine traffic.com now this is what i get to see now you can just open the first link which is marine traffic global ship tracking intelligence so you just come here when you click this link and this is what you get to see right so this is really uh, very interesting data now when typically freight forwarders say sir there is a lot of uh, congestion at the ports or there is a lot of traffic or anything like that this is what they meant now typically all the ports are always busy no doubt about it now you can see how busy are these ports now the first thing when you come to this websites so just go to filters just because it looks much more cluttered initially when you log in what you should be doing is remove the ships that we are not interested in for example we don't really need to see uh, much about oil tankers so i've unchecked them likewise i i'm also not interested in passenger vessels at least at this point in time so i'll remove them and then i don't want to see fishing boats i don't want to see pleasure crafts so i just removed all such uh, options here and then this is what i get to see now let's say if your freight forwarder or if your shipping company has sent the goods or if your ship has left the port in china now you want to know until where it has reached it's very simple just ask for the vessel number and then you just control find and search for the vessel number right it's as simple as that now in this example let's say let's randomly pick one uh, uh, ship here now let's say i want to understand uh, more about a particular ship let's say if i want to know what is happening here right i can just click that and when i click that i mean i get to see everything right position received via satellite right so you are not dependent on your freight forwarder like you need not wait for him to lift your call or you know respond to your message you can let's say let's pick any other ship i think uh, this portal is taking some time to load or or let's try to okay let's try to uh, okay understand more about this ship so when i click this ship so just give it a second yes so this is this is what happened right now i get to see this vessel name it is ru space kgd right so now i get to see okay from where did it start or at what time it has started and then by when it is expected to reach the destination i get to see everything right i get to see at what speed is this uh, ship cruising right and this is this is really very interesting data now how this data will help you is that i mean you are no longer dependent upon your freight forwarder i mean let's say your goods have left china uh, via sea now you know you can come to this portal you can see until where they have reached uh, once they are closer to us port you can continue to follow up maybe if there are any shipping invoices just get them cleared make sure your goods reach as quick as possible right so this is how you are going to track your sea shipments likewise now let's say for beginners now you are just getting few units maybe like you know 300 or 500 you see that shipment is i mean you don't really want to wait for uh, 45 or 50 days uh, importing or you are importing your goods via air and now if you want to track how to you know track until where your uh, uh, airplane has reached and for that also there is another interesting website so for that what you need to do is you just go to google.com once again and then just type uh 24 or flight radar 24 right now i'll tell you something now this works for every damn thing right now whether it is if you want to know whether your family has uh, reached safely to their destination or whether your goods have reached to you know uh, whatever destination i mean this is really a very good uh, portal just come to uh, flight flight radar 24 and then all that you need to do is once again just search for your flight number and then you get to see until where uh, you know your your flight has reached right so let's let's also pick an example now you know uh, let's give one or two seconds for this website to load now when i get to this portal i get to see i mean so many flights you know you see that okay 
the air traffic controllers they've got a lot of work to do isn't it so wait let's just i'll show you how it looks like <clears throat> so this website is taking one or two minutes to load well this is how it looks like right each and every flight i mean it is traveling from uh, place a uh, to a uh, place b now let's say if i really want to know uh, you know uh, details about one particular flight what i'll do i'll just search for the flight number pick any one flight right so i'll just randomly click on any one flight let's try to understand what kind of insights can we fetch from this website now understand this data is directly from satellite so you are not really uh, dependent on any freight forwarder or you know any shipping company or fedex or anyone like that so just check for the flight number like and let's say it is it says u23156 let's see you let's type u23156 is it able to track the ship oh, sorry track the flight yes it is now you see that the moment i search for this uh, flight number i get to see its path also right i get to see its path now from where it is coming and from where it is going i get to see everything For example if i click on this particular flight i should be able to see every damn thing about this flight as in uh, you see this flight what is its flight number from where is it coming it is going to istanbul and then at what time it left the uh, airport and by when it is expected to reach the destination you know what is the total time what is the total distance and then you get to see at what altitude is it going it's so cool isn't it and then i also get to see at what speed is it cruising right so this is also a pretty interesting website so well uh, you know if you are really getting your products via sea or by air so i mean i i hope uh, through these two portals you will be able to track your shipments and your reliance on your freight forwarder will come as low as possible right i hope this video is of massive value add if that is the case just give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'll see you all in my next video goodbye